ओके कमिंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज जिस्ट सो जिस्ट ऑल्सो स्टैंड फॉर गैस्ट्रो इंटेस्टाइनल स्ट्रोमल ट्यूमर गैस्ट्रो इंटेस्टाइनल स्ट्रोमल ट्यूमर ओके दिस इज जिस्ट सो दिस इज अ स्ट्रोमल और अ मीजन काइमल ट्यूमर ऑफ द गैस्ट्रो इंटेस्टिनल ट्रैक्ट ओके ओके सो ऑल द मीजन काइमल ट्यूमर दे हैव अ हिमेटोजीनस स्प्रेड जिस्ट इज ऑल्सो हैविंग अमेटोजीनस स्प्रेड there is no lymphatic spread okay so there is no lymphatic spread there is hematogenous spread okay now the most common site is we are reading just in stomach so overall the most common site of just is stomach okay and the stomach is followed by small intestine then colorectal then esophagus okay but the most common site is stomach gastric cyst is the most common it arises from the pacemaker arise from pacemaker cells okay what is the other name for the pacemaker cells interstitial cells of kajal the most common location where this interstitial cells of kajal are identified is gastric body okay so in the stomach also the most common site to identify the gist is gastric body okay now they express a tyrosine kinase receptor okay tyrosine kinase receptor what is the name of this tyrosine kinase receptor it is secret secret is expressed on gist tumor okay so that is why we are able to use the medicines which are inhibiting the tyrosine kinase receptor okay so what is the marker the marker is cd117 okay this is very commonly asked a few years back the cd117 is seen is just cd117 is seen in just then the other markers seen commonly were cd34 bcl2 and platelet derived growth factor receptor alpha okay these are the markers which are commonly used commonly seen the cd117 is seen in almost 90% of the patients okay or more than that now there are certain new markers which are dog 1 and protein kinase c theta okay so this dog 1 is detected on just one normally the pathologist will apply the marker cd117 cd34 majority of the patients it will come out as positive and then they label it as a gist okay but in case if there is cd117 negative then we'll have to put other markers generally in these patients this dog one is identified as positive okay and if it is positive then we'll diagnose it as gist okay now what is carney striad carney striad in carney striad there is multifocal gist gist is present at multiple places okay so there is presence of a multifocal gist with pulmonary chondroma with extra adrenal paraganglioma
okay where is present the multifocal gist with pulmonary chondroma and with presence of extra adrenal paraganglioma that is carney's triad now there are two types of gist one is epithelioid type and another is spindle cell type this spindle cell type is more common this is 70% this epithelioid type is seen in 30% okay spindle cell type is more common 70% epithelioid cell type is seen in 30% of the cases now what is the clinical features of these patients generally we will see whenever we are doing upper gi endoscopy we will see that there is only a bulge okay it is arising from the wall there is a mucosal bulge which is seen and the growth is mainly extra luminal so they are not compressing the lumen patient is able to take the food normally so in majority of the patients if the size of the tumor is small then this tumor is asymptomatic so if the line comes like this just in majority of the patients is asymptomatic then it is true the most common symptom in just is abdominal pain this is also true okay so you have to re read the line very carefully what the examiner is writing so mostly it is asymptomatic okay but most common symptom abdominal pain okay and this abdominal pain is followed by bleeding okay now the most common route of spread is i have already told you hematogenous there is no lymphatic spread because there is hematogenous spread most common site of mets is liver okay simple now how we will investigate investigation of choice upper gi endoscopy may only a mucosal bulge will be seen and biopsy we are not taking in this case because upper from upper gi endoscopy we will not be able to take a biopsy and if we will go for eus and other methods there is a possibility of tumor rupture and bleeding so the investigation of choice is to go for a cect okay cect abdomen contrast enhanced ct of abdomen this is the investigation of choice and endoscopic biopsy is contraindicated why it is contraindicated it can lead to tumor rupture or bleeding okay now the treatment what is the treatment suppose if there is a gist which is arising from this greater curvature here we can go for wedge excision and generally we take 2 cm margin okay so the treatment of choice is wedge excision oblique resection oblique segmental resection okay wedge excision or segmental resection and uh, the generally we take 2 cm margin okay and in case if the gist is very large as is as it is mainly asymptomatic it grows gradually gradually and it is also in, involving other structures like transverse colon or the transverse mesocolon or the pancreas then in these cases it is advisable to first downstage the tumor with medicines and then perform the surgery okay so what medicines or chemotherapy we are giving to downstage this tumor generally we give imatinib mesylate this is the drug of choice in unresectable 
और मेटास्टैटिक जिस्ट ओके आफ्टर वेज एक्सीजन और सेगमेंटल रिसेक्शन आल्सो इन केस इफ देयर इज हाई रिस्क फीचर्स ऑन पैथोलॉजी देन वील गिव इमेटनी मिसाइलेट टू डिक्रीज द चांसेस ऑफ रिकरेंस जनरली इमेटनी इज प्रिस्क्राइब्ड फॉर फाइव ईयर्स आफ्टर सर्जरी देयर इज लेस डेटा ऑन फाइव ईयर्स फ्यू सेंटर्स प्रिस्क्राइब फॉर थ्री ईयर्स फ्यू सेंटर्स प्रिस्क्राइब फॉर फाइव ईयर्स बट इट इज जनरली प्रिस्क्राइब्ड इन केस इफ देयर इज अ लार्ज साइज ऑफ द ट्यूमर और देयर इज प्रेजेंस ऑफ मोर नंबर ऑफ माइटोसिस बेस्ड ऑन पैथोलॉजी फाइंडिंग्स ओके बट इफ द ट्यूमर इज एट द टाइम ऑफ डायग्नोसिस इज अनरिसेक्टेबल और वेरी लार्ज इन्वॉल्विंग मल्टीपल ऑर्गन्स और इज मेटास्टैटिक देन वील नॉट गो फॉर सर्जरी स्टेट अवे वील फर्स्ट गिव द पेशेंट इमेटिन मिसाइलेट एंड देन वी विल असेस द रिस्पॉन्स जनरली वी गिव द मेडिसिन फॉर थ्री टू सिक्स मंथ एंड देन वील असेस द रिस्पॉन्स एंड वंस देर इज डाउन स्टेजिंग ऑफ द ट्यूमर एंड देन वी विल गो अहेड विद सर्जरी इन केस इफ देर इज नो रिस्पॉन्स टू इमेटिन मिसाइलेट वट इज द सेकेंड चॉइस सेकेंड चॉइस इज सुनीट इन ओके एंड अ न्यू ड्रग इज रिगोरा फेनिप ओके द न्यू ड्रग इज रिगोरा फेनिप सो दिस इज रिगार्डिंग जस्ट 